Hello and welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 1st of March for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. If you've ever thought about having a one-to-one -one with me, a consultation, please see the link beneath this video. You can check out my testimonials. Or if you'd like to ascend from sun sign astrology to more serious astrology in an affordable way, please see the link below for my personal horoscope reports. Based on your time, date and place of birth, totally unique to you, you can get a year's forecast and a character analysis, 30% off special offer. Hello Taurus and welcome to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 1st of March. Now Mars and Pluto continue in that glorious 120 trine that was the highlight of last week on Monday and Tuesday. So if there's something you're still really going forwards with, with great confidence and conviction, you're on the right track, particularly if it's you being bolder for what's good for you, the individual. But also your ruler Venus is forging a beautiful link uh, with Uranus in your sign. Now Uranus is obviously pushing you to break free of restrictions that no lo longer serve your greater purpose. But Venus in your sector of the future and friendships means that there could be some unexpected connections around your social situation. Obviously it depends where you are in the world in terms of covid restrictions but generally that can be lovely and there could be a flirtatious text message or email that comes your way if you're single if you are involved in a long time relationship long standing tie this is a great time to try to rejuvenate things by doing things in a different order uh, just changing things up it can be very refreshing for you now this week does see Mars move out of your sign on Thursday into the sign of Gemini, where it's very quick-witted, but for you, that's your second solar house, very much about resources and everyday money. Now, over the next few weeks, it's going to be forging some very positive links to the planets in Aquarius. Now, this is ironic because since the 7th of January, Mars has actually been forging some very difficult links to those planets in Aquarius and that's been creating a lot of tension. Now we still have the right angle between Saturn and Uranus uh, across the same uh, house and signs but Mars moving on and then starting to angle much more positively can be great for your career, great for your finances so you've got a, look to, a lot to look forward to in that regard. Mars moving into this area can also give you an appreciation of more sensual pleasures if you need a, a greater appreciation and if you feel you're worthy of a treat then Mars can see you being a little bit freer with your resources. Now on Saturday there is a complex uh, quarter moon. It occurs in the sign of Sagittarius which is fiery. The, the sun is in the sign of Pisces which is very watery. So that can create steam, mist and then Neptune, the planet of illusion, is really quite close to the sun as this week draws to a close. So a very hypersensitive quarter moon for us all. For you, I think when it comes to any kind of uh, friendship or group involvement, despite the fact that there can be some electric connections, some surprise communications, and perhaps also your pulse can race quicker if someone does uh, kind of want to reach out to you, there's also the potential for some kind of confusion. And when it comes to your long-term financial situation, you can't afford in the week following this Saturday to be too idealistic about anything to do with business because Sagittarius for you is your eighth house of shared resources, but also longer term financial investments. And the Sun and Neptune are in your sector of idealism and friendship. So if you were thinking of going into a venture with a group of friends, it would be very important to have very clear understandings of who did and contributed what. Otherwise, there could be a muddle that would soon ensue. But for now, it's been a pleasure being with you. Please stay safe, take care, good luck and goodbye.